for this week we have new events coming up actually collapse arrival temple uh, galaxy temple electro party well for this video we'll be focusing on the three lineups that we talked about and is the ca in the calendar of events for this month aside from that um sometimes i do feel sorry very bad and very sorry for the players because of if they really understood different things in the game their life would be much easier specifically i'm referring to the reincarnation space uh the video will come out related to the reincarnation space and all the questions that come at the reincarnation space what can i do to increase my damage why is my damage not sufficient how are all these players actually causing that massive amount of damage and why do i always feel like a loser in the game uh, the answers are pretty much very bad and very disturbing of how the game runs and uh, i don't think anyone will like it unless they're willing to spend the money so for now let's focus for this video on our main objective which is the lineups heroes that match together in lineups and honestly if you're at an advanced stage in the game and you still are wondering which heroes are okay, they can work together. My god, if you're still wondering of that, you really need to understand your heroes and read their skill description. Anyway, I have formulated some lineups to showcase actually what you should consider as heroes to mix and match them together. Specifically for X-War, that was my main focus. And let's start by deploying a number of our plans for the lineup save, then talk about those heroes and lineups. Let's click on X War 1 and deploy. Okay, so in X War 1, we're looking at the first lineup, which includes Lady Ivy, and then we have Lucas, Einstein, Medusa, the Music Fairy, and Tuku. In the next one, we have Storm Falcon, Rock Feller, General of Rescue, God Slayer, Afra, and Time. Lineup number three, we have Thinker, Anna, Mega Valkyria, Indira, Fury Wave, and the Queen of Desert. Now, let's understand for specifically why certain heroes match together. They match together as the game has buffers, support, debuffers, Heroes that are actually existing in the game only to make your hero stronger, give them HP, increase their attack, assist them in some way for, for your DPS to actually take out the enemy or have a better chance of increasing their damage surviving in battle. So the main point is you always need to mix a DPS one or two with the rest of your support heroes that have some sort of effect when it comes to battle. Einstein, for instance, is on the direction of I will resurrect two of your heroes that got killed so they come back in battle, so the battle lasts longer. He also helps in recovering some HP, actually. Okay, Medusa is in the direction of poisoning the enemy and using petrification. Petrification pretty much is turning them into stone so they cannot move, so you can kill them, and they die slow and easy and painful. All right, okay, looks okay until now. Why selectively heroes mix and match together is something important. Lady Ivy is very simply for her skill in twining. Twining is by the seeds or the vine, a direction that stops the enemy from being able to move or attack. That's why we put her in lineup number one in the first row and number one, so she gets killed. The enemy cannot move. One of your DPS will just keep on attacking and will take them out. Uh, we have different lineups we're going to be looking at, so there is a need to speed a little in explanation. Here we're pretty much looking at Rockefeller for his stunning ability to stun the enemy. And by the enemy being stunned, the rest of your heroes can take them out. Time is only used to increase the damage that the God Slayer is going to do. Afra, recovery of HP. Storm Falcon is to increase her damage in the entire battle, pretty much increase your damage and take them out the six heroes. Also for her shield in round number one. Um, what else? General of Rescue is pretty much there as a support, as a tank, and at the same time he attacks three of the heroes in lineup number one on the opposing side, so he does help in that. 
Here we're using Thinker for his armor. Pretty much an HP, nothing more. Anna is used for her charm ability, which will slow down the enemy and take the, let them take a little bit extra damage. The slowing down is not useful really, really, but it does help. Mega Valkyria is for her armor and for her ability to keep attacking the enemy and kill them. Indira is for the electric arc. And Fury Wave is just added there, so when any of the enemy is taken out, he can actually take out more enemies. The repetition in attacking all of them was his ultimate skill and causing a good burst of damage. Queen is added for that specific purpose of attacking the enemy, all six. And that's the direction of as soon as Mecha Valkyria or Indira take out one of the enemy, Fury will attack and so will Queen of Desert and then repetitive cycle of one enemy gets killed, another uh, Fury or Queen attacks or Mega Valkyria, Anna will drain a little bit of their HP and so on and so on and Thinker is only there for recovery of HP and armor. If you want it said in a different way, these two heroes mix and match together perfectly. Okay. Another hero that mixes and matches with Tuku. We're just gonna add all of them. And then... Yep. These are all heroes that you can work around in using when it comes to using Tuku. Okay. Same scenario when it comes in using Forest Dancer. Same heroes pretty much. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Also, you can do the different direction of that's another hero that can mix and match with the avatar of the forest, Julian. Another direction is, let's just skip this, and Elodia. I'm not telling you this is a lineup. I'm telling you that he, these heroes, you can work around in using them when it comes to Julian. Now, moving into something that can work around the God Slayer. For the God Slayer, it's gonna be the same direction of using Stormwalker. She works good in increasing his damage, not so much when it comes to Tuku. And then, okay, so these heroes you can always use with the God Slayer. They all help when it comes to different things you can do in battle. So you can work around that. Of course there are other heroes. This isn't the full list when it comes to a specific hero. But it's just to showcase actually heroes you can use in mixing and matching together. Okay. So we looked at that kind of in a glamps idea. The main important thing is not really only the heroes you add together. It is how you want the battle to go. Are you going after you want the enemy to be petrified, to be twined, to be stunned? If you're going after, okay, this hero needs to be twined so they do not move, then you would go with Lady Ivy. Okay, this hero, I want uh, the enemy pretty much. I want them to be stunned and they are a type of heroes that can easily get stunned by Rockefeller. So I'll put Rockefeller in number one. That is how I base my decision. Then I will use Rockefeller. Okay, they're not easily stunned. I need a different type of hero that can attack as soon as they hit him. And he can also stun them. I'll go with Gunnable. Okay, for this battle, I'm lacking HP and I have a problem and I get killed easily. I'll add Einstein. I'll add someone who can give me more armor like Agus. I'll also add a hero that can increase my speed. And put a hero in number one that cannot be killed so easily like Lucas. Or instead of Lucas, I'll put... Storm Falcon. The monkey addition space monkey is to speed Tuku and to slow down the enemy, especially if he has his relics. The Storm Falcon in number one addition is so they do not kill the hero in number one and also to increase the damage output because she will attack all six, giving Tuku a higher percentage chance of being able to kill them all, eliminate them one by one. Agus is added because if the enemy is doing too much damage the shields that he does can actually help us in having more armor which equals less damage aside from agus we can always use thinker because he does have a strong armor and a strong shield specifically at level 30 exclusive and we can give him radiance tribute to decrease the damage even more now 
you kind of do understand how mixing and matching should go or how it's supposed to go a little bit more i hope quality of three stars oh we lost the first two that's fine we will return back again and attempt it a couple of times until our heroes fully survive three stars three stars three stars as you can see the selection in three rounds is actually very good in winning the battle at least now let's look at alternative lineups for you to actually try to consider using them three second one is going to be this one just ignore the heroes awakening in my case it's more on showing the heroes that you can mix and match to create a lineup more than anything In X War 3, this is kind of what you're looking at. By the way, there's always a possibility it's not the hero or the lineup. You just need to change the artifact the hero is holding. Whether it's going to be Fatal Judgment or Eden Space, whether it's going to be one of the gems. The main point is you have at least a perspective on different lineups. Let's move into X War number 4. And yes, I did include some of the God slash Universe heroes. Here we have Elodia, which should stun the back heroes or some of the heroes and increase the damage by coordination that our heroes can do. That specific hero can increase the damage in battle that your God Slayer can do and actually increase it overall to the rest of your heroes. So we kind of have to support here or buffers mixed together with time as a support and buffer for the God Slayer. Round number three. The Great Sage, in addition with this lineup, if your heroes are strong and you've built them and give them the, lyrics, uh, the relics, it actually can make a difference. This specific lineup. Even against Storm Falcon. Okay, moving on to X45. For this one, we added Anubis and another hero from the God faction. For a sole purpose of Anubis can help in the damage that the enemy takes. And Ocean Goddess can help in recovering of the HP. Next one, we're going to go for the last X-War plan. As you can see, the plans can differ with the hero selection and they're not always focused on the draft directly they're more focused on what actually are you needing in battle by the way balance even at excellent he still can stop the enemy from uh, winning let's take lady ivy get rock feller add rock feller in number one we'll add lady ivy in number two we'll look for one of our better equipped DPS to handle this okay for the last one we might keep it as it is mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. can take that hero and add him in round number two and stick to that okay let's speed up that's round number one going into round number two let's skip and lost round number two in the event you keep losing you might need to keep trying with the skip functionality after we did a little bit of adjustment of screen this is kind of the finalization of what we used we finally ended up using afra for the armor increase to help in the battle Round number three, zero losses because we put a good portion of our support DPS in that specific round. And as you can see, three stars just by attempting a little bit and thinking. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this video. Do leave a like and a comment and a subscribe, please, if you can. And uh, if you're interested for maybe images related to the lineups, it can always be shared in the community section on YouTube. For now, just remember certain heroes do have the ability to work together. You just need to understand and attempt and try it in the game and you should be perfectly fine. Alright, and have a great day ahead guys.